Hey guys, we have our March boxy charm to unbox, and this one is big and dented. Thank and you, dented. United States Postal Service. It's a thick boy. Show how thick that is. Yeah, look at this thing that's that's much larger than the typical boxes. They're we usually get. like right where this line is, like a little bit above it. This is that's about how big they usually are. So there's like all this extra thickness on there. That's what she said. I have my. My beautiful assistant here to help uh, unbox everything. All right. Right there you have the Lavish Wet Brush Cleaning System. A convenient brush cleaning system to quickly and easily remove makeup residue from cosmetic brushes. A texture silicone pad stores nicely inside the container. That's great because I was thinking about how much I don't want to clean, your brushes. clean my brushes ever. So there's... The silicone pad. Oh, this is to actually clean your brushes, not just a quick clean, because that looks like that's the soap. I still don't want to do it. Too bad you have to it do it. It smells okay, though. Let's see. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's it's fine. fine. It smells like old floral perfume. So, right here we have, apparently there's something called lip oil. This oh. is Cab Cosmetics Hydrating Lip Oil. Say goodbye to dry and thirsty, and hello to juicy, hydrated lips. Your lips will love this non-sticky, instant burst of hydration that comes in six different tints. Swipe this formula on for comfortable, juicy lips all day long. It's blue. I got the blue one. Nothing says moisturized like hypothermia. There's a hair in this already. I think it's stuck to my face now. Yeah, it is. There's a hair. Yeah, there's a hair that was stuck to the brush. It's probably freaking cat hair. No, it was when I pulled it out. I thought it was just a glob. Cat hair is in the air. No, it's it was in here. But I guess that's fine. That's kind of gross. That whatever. It happens. I guess. I don't know why I got the blue one, but hmm. it doesn't look blue. It looks just like clear. It's. It feels a little thick. I probably used too much, but. That's a cool looking little container. So this is uh, the Glow Recipe Banana Souffle Moisture Cream. A soothing lightweight moisturizer that seals in lasting hydration without clogging pores. It's non comedogenic. Comedogenic, thank you. And non acnogenic, making it especially good for sensitive skin. Blended with banana, chai seed, magnesium, turmeric, and... Kika. Okay. We're going to go with that. It's your recipe for hydrated, healthy looking skin. I've heard a lot about this. I'm pretty excited to finally try it. It doesn't smell super strong like bananas, which is great because I don't want a headache. I love bananas. I do too, but right. whenever they have anything that's flavored or scented like banana, it's always super overpowering From and strong. From Maven Beauty, we have Maven Rosewater Setting Spray. Set your intentions in your makeup with this aura-lifting, antioxidant-packed rose water setting mist, or setting spray. Mist all over your finished look to lock it down and prevent, and prevent smudging for up to 16 hours. This is really cute packaging. You're really cute packaging. Oh, thanks. I, I'm interested to, also with the, the scent thing I was saying, rose can be one of those scents that goes either way. If yes, it's, like, it's either really good or really yeah, bad. There it's is either nice ground. and light and delicate, or it's like, pow, rose in your face. There is definitely a hair stuck to my lip. I got it. That's not a cat hair. Not bad, actually. What? All right. <clears throat> this is the Lime Crime Venus 3 Eyeshadow Palette. This palette is filled with Rapturous lilac, rose gold, mauve, and earthy brown shades. Mauve. It's mauve. <laughs> mauve. The ultra buttery formula sweeps on richly pigmented color that doesn't fade or fall out. The dreamy lavender and rose gold box is graced with Venus herself. Sure is. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's Venus. So there, it looks like right off the bat here, these two colors are very... Very glittery, very chunky looking glitter. So that will be interesting. It does look like there's maybe, there's a sparkle, two sparkles, three sparkle. 
and ma, like ma, ma, three ma. mats. So we'll three see how ma. that goes. Ma, 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 ma. There's a purple in there. At least it's not all like the same color, like recent ones. It looks like the purple's a little sparkly. Like a shimmer. Yeah, it looks like those two are your glitter glitter. It looks like you got three mats, three shimmers, and two freaking arts and crafts herpes. It does have a little mirror, though. Yeah, that I won't be able to use. It's like I'm a mirror. I can, though. Yeah. How beautiful I am. Go ahead. Um, Lime Crime, I feel like, was a very controversial brand because of the owner and some of the things that she did or decisions she made. No idea but what you're talking about. I'm pretty excited to finally try one of their products because their packaging is very cute. Their color story is very cute. Mm -hmm. That was a big box for just that stuff. Was it just big because of this? I think so. Okay. I think I think the box, because like, like I said, the corner was crushed because it was only like big in that one spot and the rest of it got crushed. Huh. So I want my water. All right, so... Yeah, I'm I'm pretty excited to try everything. The lip oil is it's fine. It's a lip oil. There's a cat ramming its body into my chair. I don't know where it went, but go ahead, try it. No, just try it. I actually wanted to smell it. It's. I don't think it smells like anything. It smells like co coconut. Oh yeah, it does. Ew. ASMR that makes nobody a, asked for. Makes a really gross sound. Yeah. <laughs> makes a really gross sound when it goes in and out. That's what she said. Mm. Anyway, right. so, all right, well, now it's time for me to leave and it's time for you to do makeup magic stuff. And then I'll put it all together with my magical editing fingers. All right. See you soon. Bye. Okay, so I guess I will start here with the moisturizer. A very heavy glass component. There is one of those little clear seal things on it, which I wasn't expecting, so I just stuck my finger right into it. This has kind of like a. Does anyone remember GAC? That's that's the kind of texture this has. It's very interesting. I'm gonna warm it up between my fingers here. Okay. I guess I couldn't smell how much of a banana fragrance this had because I didn't realize there was that little protector on it. But it's definitely there. It's not bad. It actually kind of smells like a real banana, which is great because who doesn't love that? Unless I guess you're allergic to bananas, in which case I'm sorry because they are delicious. a nice formula. It goes over the skin really well. I'm gonna give that like a few minutes just to really soak in before I start doing anything else. All right so I did let that dry down a little bit. It still has like a bit of tackiness but my skin does feel very moisturized. It looks very shiny but it's moisturizer. It feels great. So I've been staring at this for a little while and I think my plan is to do that was my dryer this in the outer corner probably that to blend because it's matte i want to incorporate this pink with the shimmer in it right here and then i think this pink glitter and then somehow you know maybe work that or that into it as well i'm not really going to film the eyeshadow application so much um i'll probably pop in just to show how it applies but I think that's my plan. I'm going to move my laundry around quick so I have dry sheets for tonight. So I'll be back. All right. Laundry moved around. Primed my eyelids with the pretty vulgar eye primer as per usual because I still have some left. I'm going to go in with this purple, which is a shimmery, iridescent looking formula. There aren't very many mattes in this palette, so... We're going to work with what we got. It's sticking nicely. It's definitely not as pigment as, as I thought it would be. But I am just kind of tapping it on there. Has a nice little 
shift to it. Pretty. I think maybe I'll go in like most of the lid and then do the the sparkle in the corner and then blend it with that glitter maybe. Who knows? We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But it seems like this builds up fairly nicely. I'm going to finish off both eyes and then we'll be back. All right. So I did the purple on both eyes. It seemed like the more it built up on the brush, the more it would apply to the eye, which totally makes sense. Um, as I said with my plan, I'm going to go with this sparkly boy here. Uh, yeah, I can't read the name, but I'm going in with my finger to maybe get a little bit more exact placement on that. That's really sparkly. It doesn't feel like that gummy, sticky sparkle that you sometimes expect in palettes when there's a lot of glitter. So that's cool because for me, at least, that means it's going to transfer a lot less. So I'm going to pop that. Wow. <laughs> in the inner corner oh wow that's just that's gonna get everywhere we'll see how this wears I'm gonna follow up with like a wear time wear time a wear test I'm gonna do a wear test and then I'm gonna follow up and let you know how it went I'm just really off today um, if you're a lady you, you know what I mean I am very tired I'm very uncomfortable and very out of it. I'm going to use my other pinky for the other eye just because that's what works for me. My arm doesn't do that thing where you can bend it weird comfortably and precisely to put on eyeshadow. This is really pretty. For how much crap I talk on glitter, this is really pretty. I'm going to take it a little bit above where my crease would be because I have hooded eyes and I want to be able to actually see what I put down somewhat you, you can never really see it but you can see a little whisper of it when my eyes are open cute very sparkly I wish I had something to wipe my finger off I think I have makeup wipe somewhere I can employ but I'll just not touch anything for a hot minute and I'm going to go with this shimmery pink here on top just to like blend that a little bit to the purple. It's hard to tell what's actually that pink shadow and what is that glitter that I placed. Oh, there it is. That's really pretty. I like that pink. I could definitely see myself using that just sweeping it all over the lid and then some liner some lashes yeah, that's really pretty I thought it would you know get kind of masked by the the pink sparkle that we put in the corner there but it's it's really nice I'm surprised I like that so I feel like I'm going to blend out the purple with this and then maybe just use a clean blending brush to blend out uh, the mid lid and the glitter so give this a shot see how she works I'm really bummed I've never tried these products before I really like this formula it might not seem on camera that it's blending super nicely, but it really is. And these colors look so nice together. I'm, I'm really happy about this. This is nice. Very pigmented, very easy to use, very easy to blend. Sometimes things get a little skippy over like just an eyeshadow primer. Sometimes I feel like I have to put a little translucent powder down so it's not, you know, you put it on and then you try to blend it and it's just stuck there and you're just like, ring, 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 ring. so this is pretty cool. Really like this. I think I'm going to look into what other palettes they have. I feel like this is a very colorful company that they don't put out, you know, a lot of bland palettes. 
a lot of neutral heavy palettes so I you know what I'm gonna take this in here just to give it a little depth I do like that a lot that was a good move am I gonna be full beat putting some laundry away and watching TV yes yes I am and also taking copious amounts of Advil and hugging a heating pad if I can't find a cat to hug which there's two of them but cats just live by cat law and you can't make them do things you don't want I'm gonna finish up the eyes and I'll see you guys in a little bit um, I guess like really the only other thing I can demo is the setting spray and I'm very interested to see how this smells and quite honestly terrified because Rose can go either way but I like the way I, I like rose scented things so all right all right so I just wanted to do a quick check-in here I used this pure foundation it, it's the the one you can also use as concealer I can't see what the name is personally but maybe you can and I just wanted to point out I don't know if it's picking up on camera but my skin is really 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 glowy still from this moisturizer I didn't put primer on just because I wanted to see how this would lay on top and it is very radiant extremely radiant and I had not noticed you can tell under my eyes how much fallout there was and I'm um, now wondering if this is gonna stain my eyelids at all just because those magenta toned purples tend to do that I didn't check to see if it's a pressed pigment palette or not but it did have a lot of fallout under my eyes I don't really want to wipe it away because of the moisturizer but I think I'm probably going to have to before I put concealer down or it's going to look very strange and I'm hoping it didn't stain under my eyes either but uh, we'll see we'll see all right so I finished everything up I still feel like I look really dewy from the moisturizer and I'm not mad about it because it's like a really pretty glow I pretty much used all the shadows except for really these two here I put this one like in the inner to mid and then I blended this dark one out um, under my lashes into my wing a little bit and the, these shadows are really nice there is a little bit of fallout with them so just be prepared for that I typically do all my eye makeup first and then I'll do my face makeup just to avoid that problem so now we are on to the setting mist I have my fan here which is something I always do because I, I just don't like the feeling of your face just wet after setting spray I like to do it and then dry it quick to lock it in so I'm gonna spray this quick just to see how the spray comes out to know what I'm in for it looks it looks like a nice fine mist I do smell the rose very strongly that's gonna be interesting but here we go no one no one looks complimentary when they're doing this part of their makeup so just don't judge or enjoy the weird face doused and dry so <laughs> enjoy that I feel like uh, the smells not super overpowering when you're doing it however like I always hold my breath when I spray setting mist the mist itself is really really fine which is great because it's not just shooting out big droplets at you my lip looks really wet whatever so I was super pleased about that um, now we just kind of wait and see how everything wears I'm probably gonna be popping my glasses on at some point when I want to mess around on my phone and scroll on TikTok. so we'll see if this does anything to prevent those weird divots you get if your glasses wear from your makeup um, yeah I think that's about it I'll check in with you guys in a little bit it's like 424 we've had a very late start today I worked some hours this morning remotely so that kind of set me back but 
I'll see you guys soon. All right, so here's the check-in. Um, it really hasn't been like that long. It's like 7.57 right now. I really haven't done a whole lot that would have me sweating or anything. Just laundry and uh, a nice family Zoom sesh for Passover. So let's see how everything held up. I feel like it's going to be just fine. Of course, we do have those dents, but that was kind of, I expected it. Um, yeah, the eyeshadow looks really pretty still. Everything held up really, really well. I'm kind of bummed, like, it doesn't look as bright and vivid on this camera, at least, as it does in person, but it's real pretty. Uh, yeah, those, those glasses marks are rough, but... I'm literally going to be taking a shower in like 20 minutes. So it doesn't matter. Nothing matters. I don't know if it's the setting spray or if it's that moisturizer, but I'm like real shiny. Like I hope that your future is as bright and shiny as my forehead because damn, that's like very dewy, very, very dewy. I'm going to have to try them separately to see like which one's the culprit. I feel like, you know, everything stayed in place really well for the lack of activity I had today. This lip oil, I may have talked some shit on this being blue, but I really, really like this. And I've only applied this twice since I put it on and I've been drinking and I had a snack and nothing Real, it didn't wear off. I've had lip oils that as you wear them, they just kind of dry your lips out. But this has not done that. I think I might actually bring this to work with me and wear it under my mask because I don't know what it is. If it's wearing masks that just dries your lips out or what, or just, I don't know. It seems counterintuitive because you're just like a little rainforest on your face with the mask. But regardless, I'm going to try it out there. I really, 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 really am digging this palette. I can't wait to use all of the colors. I'm not like a huge brown tone fan, but I feel like I could definitely make this work. I tried to use this a little bit and I couldn't really fit it in because I feel like six colors on these tiny eyes is quite a lot. So I, I like it. I like the formula. I like the packaging. I like the colors. Very nice. This, very, oop, very nice. I, I, this packaging is just adorable. Like, I don't know what it is. It's so simple, but it's so cute. I don't mind the smell at all. I need to look more at uh, the properties of it to see if it is like a luminous setting spray or what, but I would really like to see how this would wear an entire day of me maybe, you know, at work at it would probably be at the salon because that's really the only place I wear a lot of makeup just to see how it holds everything up and if there's any weird breakdown or whatnot. This moisturizer I really like so far. Like a little dabble do you. So this is going to last me quite a while I feel like. And it feels expensive. Like that is an expensive component. Like all that glass. Yeah. I'm kind of concerned about dropping this on my feet. But I really like it. I am very now interested <clears throat> in trying, you know, some of the other skincare products that this line offers if they're as nice as this. And like I said, I'm going to try it, you know, without the setting spray. I, I don't typically wear just like plain moisturizer during the day because I like SPF. So maybe I'll incorporate that into my night routine, see how it works with my other products. Uh, the brush cleaner. I did not use the brush cleaner. I did not have it. I, I, I couldn't convince myself to wash brushes today. It would have been the perfect day to do it. It was pouring rain all day. It was gross, but I just, I could not. I couldn't. I think that is all the products we got to test out and try, but have you guys used any of these products before? Let me know what you thought. 
what other skincare have you used from this line? I'd love to know. I'd love to know recommendations. I'd love to know recommendations for um, Lime Crime. If there's other palettes you think I'd enjoy. I know that they have like a cult following for their lip products. I'm not really wearing lip products at this point, but I'd love to try them out. Leave me a comment, like the video if you did like the video, or you could like the video if you buy things based on how they look because they're cute, because that's how I end up with so many hair products. If you have not yet, please do subscribe. I'd love to have you. You can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter, Instagram, and now TikTok at Reanimator. And I hope everyone is having a wonderful night and uh, happy April because that's coming if it hasn't started yet already. No, it, it starts next week. No concept of time, but see y'all later. Bye. Check, 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 check. I was say, we have to test the audio. Mm -hmm. Eczema. Yes. <laughs> it burns and it itches and it hurts. Oh, that was the best intro ever. I hate eczema. Oh,